Welcome back. In this second part of this tutorial, we're going to look at beginning to recreate our South Park character that we created at the South Park Studios website. So, first of all, I need to bring him in as a bit of a reference. So I'm just going to go File, Import, and open him up. Now I could draw over top of him, but I actually prefer to just keep him off of the side as a reference point here. And uh, that allows us to get a little creative. If we don't reproduce him 100%, that's all right. We're going to start building him from the ground up. So we're going to start with actually the legs here. So we're just going to create a rectangle. Pick my rectangle tool. Draw a rectangle. That's about the right size. I can be a little larger here than I need be, but that's about the width there. Now in this case his legs are red, so I'm going to fill that with red. And we'll move that into place. That part's done. For the next part we want to recreate these elaborate feet. So what we're going to do there is first of all I'm going to pick a black fill. Oops. Control Z on that. that picked my objects fill rather than setting the fill to black. And I'm going to create an ellipse. Something like that. Okay. Now we need to create another object and I'm just going to pick a click somewhere somewhere else, pick another contrasting color as a fill for this one. And I'm just going to draw a rectangle that intersects with that ellipse, something like that. Bring up my fill dialog box here, which is Control Shift F. I'll just reduce the opacity of that fill so you can see the overlap and see where we're going with this. So now the shape where those two overlap is about the shape we need with the feet. There's many ways to do this. We could use the Bezier tool, a lot of other things, but I like the simplicity of this one because all we do is select those two objects together, go to path, and intersection. And there we have one foot. Now I'm going to duplicate that with Control D and I'm going to move that over by holding down the control key and moving it over to the right. The control key makes sure that I don't move it up and down. i let go of that. I'm going to group those together so I don't lose the alignment on them. I'm going to bring that down, put it underneath here, something like that. Now that's pretty close. We might want to go a little bit bigger in which case we would just take the object and stretch it a little bit. For the alignment, okay, I'm going to do something like that. Bring up my alignment toolbox and I'm going to align them along their bottoms and on their centers. And that way we can get perfect alignment. We'll just close that off so we can see our character again. So we have feet and legs created. Our next job is going to be to create the body. This one's going to be a little bit more elaborate. We're going to start, though, in much the same way we did for the feet. So I'm going to start with an ellipse. I'm going to drag it sort of vertical like that. Okay. And now I'm going to create another ellipse. But before I do that, I'll choose a different, again, contrasting color. And this ellipse is going to cut across something like that. Maybe make it a little bit shallower curve. And I'm going to pick the select tool, move that over. In fact, I'm actually going to align these again. So I'm going to bring up my alignment and we'll align them on their centers. Now, what we're going to do again is with both of those two selected, we're going to go path and intersection. 
Now, when you're doing intersections or any of these Boolean operations on paths, you always want to make sure that the object that you want to save is on the bottom or that you've created it first. So now we get this effect here and we move that in and that's our body. We can overlap it. The color doesn't really matter right now. I'm not worried about that. Something like that. Again, select them all. Go to alignment and align their centers. Now, in the next tutorial, we're going to look at how we create those stripes on the body, and that's going to in that's going to have us encounter a couple of new techniques. But for now, we're going to sign off with feet, legs, and the shape of the body created.